Country people, who now welcome to DJM TV weekly news update for Pigeon English. Me wa wa lakuna this week on that na country brother Stanley Okocha. I beg my brother, my sister, if this one are the first time when you they watch our Obonga news like this, I beg make you subscribe to our YouTube channel when be DJM TV. Make you click on the notification bell so that you go continue to receive all thought Obonga news like this. Our first news for today. Now be the one when it concerns DJ TV. And we thought that after immediately after receiving our certificate of return, first the thing we should do is come in and appreciate those who made it possible, those who contributed. And the principal amongst them is uh, my brother, Dr. Okoa, the governor of um, Delta State, and his very lovely wife. So that's why we're here. What the victory means, you've begun to see what it means. First, a United States, the people of Edo all rose in unison. You can see the unity from the south, the central, and the north. That we are one, and we now have a government that is fair and looks out for everyone. And with that united front, there's nothing we cannot conquer. In a post-COVID world, it is important that you now begin to take certain things for granted, not big greens, so that you can use the limited resources in advancing the cause of your people. It also means that um, cooperation, the bender of cooperation, you know, that Edo Delta spirit coming together again. Um, and you saw that with Governor Kowa coming in to support us massively during the elections. And lastly, it means a regional cooperation. Um, that we now have a very united region, politically united. The next thing we need to do is make it economically united and strong, because we have everything to make the South-South region the most viable and, uh, <coughs> and um, prosperous region in this country. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Let's hear it better. And take up the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, give your seed your goodness, your faithfulness, your mercy. Father, superintend over all and exalt your name. In Jesus' name. Shall we bless that all down? Shall we bless that all down? Holy Senator, the miracle governor of the Bios State. The sixth elected governor of Edo State, Anis. <laughs> Philip Shaibu, whom I've also told, is a member and his lovely wife, Mrs. Marianne Shaibu. 
Excellency King Alfred Papa Jesus Smith. Distinguished of His Excellency Governor of Assembly, the Speaker and members of the Bayelsa, Donald Chairman, South South of the People's Democratic Party, who is Mrs. Remy Kuku, who is here with us, Bayelsa and Edo States, members of Executive Councils, Chief of Staff, Government of Senegal, the Deputy Chief of Staff, Government of Senegal, the Deputy Chief of Staff.
Я протокол ставлю к врачу. Ой, на каждый вопрос. Фолодина. Ладно, я пришел в газет, что он сам сказал. Я же начал начать в сестринку и сняв глаз. А у своего вопрос, и конечно, присмаялся сестринку. Thank <laughs> you. 
do not have the qualification to contest an election? Is it going to go like what happened in Lagos? Let us watch. The one thing I knew was that I didn't know him well at that time, but I knew the second man very well. And knowing that man very well, I knew that he will never accept it. And later, I came to even know the number one. That is a man of principles, rugged, and determined. <laughs> this would not have been possible, my brother, if you had kicked out of that race. You took the bull by the horn. You had the support of your people. You had the support of your party, the new party that gave you the umbrella when it was ready. <laughs> and so may I use this opportunity to congratulate all the people of Edo State and the members of the People's Democratic Party led here by our South South Chairman Dan Lobby. This victory is not a victory for a new state alone. This is a victory for Nigeria. Like rightly noted, you contested the presidential election in the new state. And the whole world was watching what was going to happen. For the first time, I saw my former colleague in the House of Reps. We know him to be very hot, not very calm. <laughs> he became the agent of the party, and I was watching him. And for the first time, I saw one calm, calculated person. Even the questions he was asking were questions I've never seen him ask, even while we were in the House of Representatives. You know, we need people like culture. They are culture itself. And this young man was the chairman of the committee on culture while we were there. And so when I saw his performance, it gave me more confidence that this election we will win. Our grand final day in Benin, when they interviewed me, all I said was that that God that did not sleep in Bayelsa, when they came here using all that they had to rig the elections and declared themselves winners, we didn't take the laws to our hands, we followed the laws. However, it was not just because we followed the laws. There was a power that was above their own power. Yes. And I told the other people that please learn from what happened in Bayelsa. Do not wait for God to come down again. God will come down on that Saturday for you. And indeed, God came down for Edo people. The people who are there, let us clap for all the Edo people. <laughs> See, it takes commitment, loyalty, for you to demystify those who have styled themselves as your gods. No man is your god. No man. It could be a governor. It could be anything. He is not your God. And there are no people who came out in their numbers. There are no people who stood behind what was right. Because no stretch of imagination would have told anybody that the city governor, somebody who graduated long, long, long before some of us even went to, 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 to our institutions and universities. 
that he has no certificate and therefore he was disqualified. And so, I want to thank God with you, my dear brother, my dear people of Edo State, that God has done it for you. And the God that has done it for you will give you a successive and eventful four years in office. Yeah. And he will direct you to hand over to somebody who will carry on the same crusade that you have started in Edo State. For us in Bayelsa, we feel honored that our little, very little insignificant support has brought you here this night. We did nothing, we only joined you in prayers for those oppressors not to succeed in oppressing the people of Edo State. And here you are with us driving far away from Benin, driving from these very bad roads that we have to Yenagwa. We want to say thank you. We want to say a big welcome to you and your entourage. We believe that the South South region is completely a PDP region. And our leaders, our party leaders here, will support this victory and will protect this victory. And will ensure that no state in the South South, no state in the South South, will ever be from a different party at all times. And this is where politics becomes interesting. And to those of us who see it as a dirty game and you shy away, then you are inviting the lawless and anarchist people to rule. Those who don't respect the laws, those who put the laws in their pockets and say they can kill you and go free. But when you come out as a people, ultimate power belongs to the people. However, we all know that power comes from God. That is why today we are gathered here to celebrate with our brother and with our brothers from the new states. We celebrate you for your courage. We celebrate you for your calmness. We celebrate you for your strategies. We celebrate you. I was going through the internet and somebody was suggesting to some other persons that you need to go to school in the new state under Governor Gordon Obasek. And if you do that, you will also succeed in Lagos State. <laughs> you all know who I'm referring to. Once again, I want to thank you and your encourage. I want to thank God Almighty who has made this victory possible. Thank you and God bless you. I at this point to invite Your Excellency, there is a special preaching game which of course will come with your August visitor.
Amen. Permission invites to step forward and conduct the captain of the king. Because on that 
2022. But I cannot end this without by paying a special tribute to somebody in this room whose vision, whose foresight, many, many years ago, created the legendary creation of what we have today. That's an age much younger than most of us. Then 28. As a military governor of the old Riva State, he stood out and from the wreckage of the civil war, he began to build a nucleus of an enjoyation. I want to thank the vision, I want to thank the courage, the strength, the energy, and above all, God's grace in his life. I'm talking of no other person than our elder statesman, our father, His Royal Majesty, Alfred Data Smith. And as it's a child in our anthem, may the labels of our heroes past never go in vain. We cannot have a future without a past. And it's people like him who helped meet the vision of the future of the past. Once again, I want to thank the first lady of my ancestors for the sumptuous meal. I want to thank the deputy governor for all the arrangements. Everyone, the artists uh, from the uh, Ministry of Arts and Culture, uh, I can see that creativity, yes. I can see that in doing you. <laughs> because as you know, I know the whole of culture in the region, because all of us can trace our roots back to the room, one form or another. And for the brilliant comedians,
My brother, my sister, if this one are the first time when you did they watch our Obonga news like this, I beg, make you subscribe to our YouTube channel when be DJM TV. Make you click on the notification bell so that you go continue they receive all thought Obonga news like this. DJ TV.